Lord Jesus here, and today we are back with another episode. Now, as far as I know, this is the final episode of the chapter one, and we are just going to hop right into it. Alright, I'm good with this, I'm good with this. Mm -hmm. Alright guys, now remember, if you are enjoying the series and you do like the video and you like my channel in general, don't just hit that like button and subscribe to join the party. Now, once this map loads, we are just going to hop right into this 1.6 Wolves Among Sheep. Menu, whenever you see a player, player list on the right. Oh, yep, coming off. That's cool, too. What are we carry? What are we... What are those peasants I had carrying? Questions. No, you didn't. Oh, can we play as the leader Master, now? Master, why this fortress? It looks like it's just a storehouse. It is? And that's why we're here. These barbarians. They seem like they're good people. They embrace each other like they were all kin. But that is all a lie. When night falls, they stab each other with their knives. If there are wolves among them, should we not set them free? Yep, they're trying to make sense now. Now I had new questions. Ones that were much harder to answer. I can't tell she's enjoying the Blackstone Legion. I love how it's giving the red hit markers. I love so much how they keep the red hit mark, like the hitbox for the cannon moving, even in the cutscene. That's great. There was nothing I could do except protect the ram. And hope. what the? That that was a fun glitch. Just give me a second. Oh, there's the decapitation I've been waiting for. Let me go off this thing. Wait, are there like people around it? Oh, that, that that's what we're looking at. Time to just absolutely destroy him from all sides. Try my best here. I'm getting the XP for this. Alright, somebody kill him. Alright, I'll do it. The gate. Fight me, peasants. Dead. Hopefully that's the case. Did I actually one-shot him? Locking onto an enemy, use a heavy attack to an some Oh, I know this stuff. Ow! No. I did not mean to unlock there. We were deep in enemy territory. Oh, thank God for the there checkpoint. No way home but forward. This is tiring me. Our lives for the crew. No. Come 
Come on! Why? This is so stupid! I can't- This is so stupid. No- Oh! Why didn't let me execute him? Where's he at? Stop deciding to attack the second I decide to chart guard breaking you. And let me please game, let me dodge the attacks. Thank you. Push for the gate. Run him over with the giant ram. Sorry I haven't been talking and it's like I'm just focusing really hard. First I gotta deal with this guy. Why why did it why did she fall down? Nothing happened. Nope. Oh, that should have finished her. Come on. No! Why wouldn't she die? Like, those heavy hits should have taken we her out. Why didn't she die? There was no way home but forward. She should have died. It's getting a little easy. Sorry, boys, gotta run. Working on it. Hurry, stamina. That's so stupid. down so easily how are you not how did that last heavy hit not take him out that's so dumb and now I'm out of freaking stamina which means she falls down over invisible rocks this is so stupid that freaking these heavy hits aren't taking her him out 
why did it back up? Thank you. Oh my god. The freaking. I was heavy hit. Should have taken that a long time ago. Nope. Sorry, boys, gotta run. Where at? Is it at the very front? Okay, I don't, I'm not sure what happened there. Get him! There's nobody in the ram. Yeah, I was gonna say, there's nobody in the ram. What are you talking about? Is this a bug? Because there's nobody in the ram. Or by the ram, I should say. I want the observable. Die. Protect the ram. Keep it moving. Just die. We needed to protect and operate the ram until we broke through. Which is what exactly what we're doing. Alright, I need to come over here now. It's telling me like I need to get on top of this. Uh oh. Throw it back at him. Ah, oh, this fight looks epic. Oh, do all we have to do is push him off the ramp? This fort's a legendary yard. Oh, this dude's hardcore. Can I please activate revenge mode now? I'm trying. I am useless. He keeps card breaking. He keeps spamming guard break. It's so annoying. Why did you throw him back onto the... Why are his attacks so much more be- He has so much more health, even though my armor's better than his. He's got, like, no armor on. My, atta my attacks are so much weaker than his. He has so much more health than me. Like, everything about this fight seems to be in his favor. How does he keep countering my guard break? I'm not understanding this entirely. How does he keep countering my guard break? This is ridiculous! Wait a minute, can I even knock him off? I've been trying to knock him off so hard, I don't even think I can. I can certainly knock him down, though. Okay, this double heavy attacks get so annoying after a while. Especially when you can't counter them. At all. Invincible. 
Yeah, apparently I can't. Bye bye. We'll finish this another time. Am I dead? Is that the no? Okay, apparently I was blacked out. On your feet. Right. There's no garrison here. We were in. That spelled doom for the Vikings. Wasn't that why we came in the first place? It was hardly my first time sacking a fortress. Why did it bother me? Because you're with the new side? Maybe? Just offering up suggestions? This is so dumb is when you're out of stamina and you literally can't counter anything. That's that's a little bit of something in this game that I'd like to see fixed. Is it like like look at this guy even. Like when you're out of stamina, you just can't do anything. Oh look at that quad kill. I'm going to assume I need to go through here. Uh oh. These are homes. Yeah, but it's like, when you're out of stamina, no matter who you are, no matter what side you're on, you literally can't counter anything. When you're out of stamina, you're at the mercy of the other foe. What determines if you're going to live is how much health you have at the time. Whoa. Oh, you can hit your own soldiers. Okay. Didn't know that. We could have broken open that gate with a far smaller ram. But that would have taken time. Time that the Vikings would have used to reinforce. Okay. So I need to go over here. Hello. Shut down. Shut down. Woo! Move. <laughs> oh my, that's kind of brutal. Dogs. Do these dogs have a mass amount of health? If they do, this is th <laughs> he just killed his own dog. That wasn't me. He killed his own dog. <laughs> that is so funny. He actually just put down his own dog. Like I know there's friendly fire in this game. Did he just like try to like feast on my neck? This is so annoying, stop running away. I'm trying to attack, it won't let me. There we go. Give up. Your people do not need to suffer. This dog though. He's like, like eating my sword, yet he's still somehow not dead. How are you not dead? Like, stop eating my sword if you want to live. This is so stupid. 
He killed- <laughs> Wait a minute, did he kill his own dog again? I think he just killed his own dog again. Alright, I have a plan. Nope, that flew out the window. That flew out the window really fast. You're strong, good Monday. Oh. If I didn't have this, I'd be long dead. Are you kidding me? He's got more dogs. It won't let me freaking attack the dogs. That time I put down the dog. Stop, I'm just trying to kill your dogs. Chill. I can't, I can't attack fast enough. It is stupid. I can't. There we go. Like, I can't attack fast enough. Jesus, this is so pointless. I can't attack fast enough to deal with the dogs. This Your is so pointless. You good this is so stupid. I'm actually not gonna survive this just because of that stupid freaking feature. That could have saved me. I can't attack fast enough. Like, there's just not enough time. From when they start coming at you, there's no time. There's no time to counter the- This is frustrating. This is frustrating, because there's no time. Like, he attacks you, and then instantly a dog comes at you. It's like, the dogs dodge your attacks then. Like, look at this. Like, you can you can barely get close- You can't get close to the dogs. And the second they start attacking you, you can't do anything. Like, the second they come at you, it's useless. You can't do anything. They're too fast. See? It's too fast. It's so stupid. It's this is this is so frustrating. Like I'm fine if you start out with the original ten I don't like it. I'm fine if you start out with the friggin' ten dogs like this. What I don't like is that they bring in more as the fight progresses. Like if as if these dogs weren't friggin' frustrating enough. Like, I can't do anything. It's an unnecessary loss of health. There we go. Now that we leveled the playing field, give up. Your people do not need to suffer. You've got to be kidding me. I just defeated your other little friends. Of course it attacks- of course we're in a perfect position to attack the dog. So it attacks the guy. I can't fuck- I can't fucking do anything! There we go. What? What happened to my guard break? What the hell happened to my guard break? And there are already new dogs in the fucking battlefield! They bring them in way too fast. This fight is so hard. Because they bring in the new ones so fast. They bring in new dogs so fast. <laughs> because the dogs are almost invincible. You're strong, good Munder. Like, it's too fast! They're too fast! Like, I'm 80% sure in real life a dog that size does not move that fast. I could be wrong. What the, what the hell happened there? Oh my god, this is so dumb. Oh my god, what the? Like, are, you you can't have this many dogs. Hurry, hurry up, hurry up, and use the goddamn. Oh my god, this is so stupid. The dogs attack you and you stay in place, and because you can't defend against the dogs, then this guy comes immediately, comes after you. Thank you. Don't call on another dog, please. You son of a bitch. 
This is so hard. I actually can't do this. I actually can't do this. The dog holds you in place because it's ridiculously fast. Oh. The dog holds you in place because it's so fucking fast that you can't attack it. And then it starts nibbling on your throat. While it does, it takes menial amount of health, it puts you in a place long enough where the other guy just demolishes your health. This is starting to get annoying. Like, really, really annoying. Alright, if I can't do it this time, then I'm just gonna cut. I'm just gonna cut the fight part out to, like, I've got the guy down with some health and killing him. Jesus, I see dogs. Can I guard break the dogs? God, fuck you. And then I can't get back into control fast enough to start blocking his attacks. It's the freaking dogs. Oh, I can block the dogs. Oh, that makes this ten times fucking easier. Problem is, I can't proceed, block the Problem is, I can't block the dogs and the guy at the same time, so I have to decide which is going to take down less health. Okay, I don't really know what happened there. No. Attack the dog, attack the dog! Fucking down, game! No. I, I can't. I actually can't. I'm trying to get the dogs while they're down, but the game won't let me attack the freaking dogs. What? I blocked! I blocked the dog! What is this? What is this? Attack the dog now! Now it's just not attacking him. This is so... This is so bad. You're this strong, is... Goodmunder. Kill the dog, thank you. It's finally killed the dog. Just sit down. Not sure why my dodges are failing. They should be 100% working. Why are they failing? Revenge mode was pointless because of these friggin' dogs. Like I got like this fight's hard enough without these invinci dog without these Give dogs. Up. This fight's People hard do enough. Not need to suffer. Like look at the like the pure amount of health this guy has. This fight's gonna be hard. And then I have these friggin' dogs masquerading around the place. And she's tripping- No, now's not the time to be tripping over your imaginary pebbles. Now is not the time to be tripping over imaginary pebbles. Well, I'm gonna try some. Okay, yeah, okay. I guess I just have to, I just- I guess I was using my dodges a little too early. No. Uh-oh. Stop. So, come on. Get close. I'm not wasting another revenge. Thank you. If it for these health things, I would never be able to do this. Oh my god, that- that- that is stupid! That is stupid! I might lose this one just because of that. This requires so much skill. 
in my opinion. I don't know about these like, like these amazing For Honor players, but for me this requires a up close. Are we gonna get out of the dog portion of this? These niggas think they're gonna stop me. Don't stop me, but just stop trying. I know now what haunted me that day. God. Now I'm pretty sure the next time we're fighting this guy, it's gonna be the last third of it, and it's gonna be outside the dog portion, which really helps because those dogs were so annoying. Oh, that's my own guy. My bad. Like I'm not messing around anymore. <laughs> that that made me a little mad. I God, don't. God. Oh, the game is called For Honor. But still, he's weaponless. Just get him while he's on the ground. That's what I mean. I swear to God, if you bring in those dogs again, I'm actually gonna lose it. If you bring in those, lo if you bring in those dogs, I'm actually gonna lose it. He's trying to break my fucking back! See, it's so hard to defend yourself when you're out of stamina. You say intercept again. Oh no, he's got revenge mode. Well, that just made this entire fight ten times harder. Realistically, that would be a backbreaker. Come on, help, help, help. God damn it. What the, why did it block the attack? Why are, why is it blocking the attack? Thank you. This is so annoying. He's just spam it's just spamming guard. Come on. He's so close to dead. There we go. Let's go. Kill him. He fought well. To hell with you. Thank you. Mercy. Why are we here? Oh no. I think you know. Famine. This place houses their seed grain. There will be no new harvest. By winter, they will be killing each other over what little food is left. That's blue brutal. I took an oath. To fight for peace. <laughs> so did you. All of you. So we out? Are we like, are we leaving the place? Like, what's going on here?
Hey. This food. Why are we not burning it all? Because we could use it. What do you imagine the clans would do if we burned it all? They'd starve. Die. They would unite. But leave them scraps. Just enough for two, maybe three clans. They will fight each other over what remains. The wolves among them will rise. We're not here to kill them. We are here to teach them who they are. By killing them. To set them free. Time to go home. Dishonorable discharge. So, I, did I leave? Hold up, did I leave? I'm just gonna go out on a limb that's saying dishonorable discharge that I did leave the place. That's a, that's a lot of rewards. Oh, it's the same thing, playing over and over again. Okay! That was a really good chapter. So we are one-third through the story mode. It did not take long for my lesson to spread across the whole of Valkenheim. But in the following winter, a lone raider rose among the clan known as the Warborn. That raider set out to reunite their people. Alright, so then we get to place the Vikings now. After the knights destroyed the Vikings, now we gotta place the Vikings to kinda unite, and I'm going to guess that they're gonna be raiding the samurai. And then we're going to be the samurai to defend against the Vikings and probably strike at the knights. And that's just a triangle of trouble. But alright guys, thank you for tuning into chapter one of the Four Honor Story. It's been a really, really fun game to play. And I just really like this. Now pro I'm gonna wait, hold on till chapter two, because co-op story, you can do co-op story. So I'm gonna wait till one of my friends has the game downloaded, and then we are going to play. But thank you guys so much for tuning into this. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to join the party. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for tuning in.